Hi everyone, today we're going to teach our dogs how to wait for their turn so they can wait calmly while we train the other. All we're going to need is some dog beds or elevated beds or blankets and some treats. It also helps to exercise our dog before training this so we just got back from a nice walk. And it also helps if you start training this inside first so there is less distraction for your dog. I have Delta and Envy with me, who's going to help me teach you how to teach that behavior. We're going to start with both dogs on their separate beds. If your dog doesn't have a good stay alone, we're going to need to teach that before teaching this. So first, we have them both on their separate bed. And all we're going to do is give them treats for staying there. Good job. You can be very generous with your treats. I'm using simple kibbles here. And we eventually want to add more and more distraction. So I'm going to walk around, move, because I want my dogs to stay even if I am not next to them. Good job. Good job. So that's it for the first step. We're just gonna have our dogs lay on their beds and us be the distraction for them. Keep your session short and don't forget to release your dogs after every session so they know when they can get up. Okay! Alright, so now that our dogs are able to calmly wait on their bed, we're gonna start having one of the bed in front of us while the other one stays on their bed. So, I'm gonna put myself right here so that I can easily reward the waiting dog here. And I'm gonna have her come to me and we can pretend to train. Couché. Good job. Good job. When we first start training a dog in front of us while the other one is waiting, we want to start with very easy and calm behaviors like down so that way it's not too challenging and even though i have her in front of me um, i'm very much training this one because this is more challenging for her than for her at this point in training i'm not taking turn and another important thing to know is that this is not the time to have an actual training session with the dog in front of me and teach her new things the reason is because our focus is very much on the dog that is waiting and we want to keep the session short and have our focus divided. Whereas when we teach our dogs new thing, we want 100% of our focus on the dogs we're training. So if at this point you still want to train your dogs, I would recommend having the waiting dog in a separate room or behind a gate so that they don't rehearse getting up and down and ruining all the training you're putting in waiting for their turn. So I'm gonna end this session here and next session I would train the opposite. So I would train Envy here while she is waiting the entirety of the short session. So now it's time to add more challenge. I'm gonna add more movement from the dog I'm training I'm also going to add toys and I'm going to add more distance. I'm going to have my dogs do a pivot on this because it's pretty exciting to them. It's also important that I don't want my dogs to release themselves to get out before I call them. So, Envy! Good job! Now once again, even though I'm training Envy in front of me, my focus is very much on the dog that is waiting and if your dog gets up just lure them back down 
You can wait a few seconds and then reward. If your dog gets up often, I would take a few steps back in training, reward at a higher frequency and make things easier for them so they can stay successful. Good job. Good job. Yes. Eventually, we want to reduce the rate of reinforcement we give for the waiting dog. Good job. Good job. Something else we want to do is introduce toys, especially for dogs who train with toys or who are very toy motivated. That can be a big challenge for some dogs. So we can start by just practicing throwing the toy and rewarding the dogs for staying on their place. Eventually, I'm gonna have my dog playing with me with the toy while the other one is waiting. Envy! Yes! Good job! Get it! Get it! Get it! Yes! Good girl! So here I'm gonna have Delta play with me with the toy, but I'm still gonna reward the dog waiting. So I'm gonna stay close to her. Delta, get it! Yes! Good girl! Good girl! Good job. Good job. Out. Yes. All right, so now it's time to add more distance to our training. So that also means we're gonna have to reduce our rate of reinforcement for the waiting dog. So I'm gonna call Delta here with me. Delta. Good job. And I'm gonna do some tricks with my dog that is a little bit more exciting and I'm still going to reward them at a distance for staying calmly on their bed. Spin, turn, good jump, good job. Back up, back up, back up, rebound, good job, yes, good job, weave, 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 good job, good spin. Turn. Good. I see. Pretty. Up. Good job. I'm also gonna do more walking around. Good job. Away from the waiting dog. Good job. Spin. Turn. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Good job. I'm also gonna play with toys at a distance from the waiting dog. Envy. Good girl. Yes. Good girl. Good girl. Yes. Good girl. Good job. Good job. This can be a big challenge for some dogs. Delta here is very toy motivated, so she would very much like to take part of the action, but she's gonna have to wait for her turn. Another big challenge is to not only tug with the toy, but throw it. Good job. If you have more than two dogs, you can also practice this trick. It's definitely easier to start with two dogs, so I would incorporate every additional dog separately. And you can also eventually fade out the bed or the mats so they wait for their turn while waiting on the grass or the floor or wherever you're training. I hope you give this trick a try and let me know how it goes. Mm -hmm.